Hello, Mama. I'm going to read you a bedtime story called Daisy Comes Home. Here's Daisy, little hen. Look over the garden wall and you will see the six happiest hens in China. They live in Mimi's sandy yard by the Lee River where they lay brown eggs every day for Mimi to sell in the market. But it was, it was not always this way. Here are the eggs and here are another bunch of eggs. Once upon a time, the smallest hen, the one Mimi called Daisy, was picked on by all the others. This is hard to imagine because Mimi was known far and wide for her happy hens. She gave them treats. She put fresh hay in their nests. She gave them bats when they fell into black mud. And when she called, goo goo, goo goo, all the hens would run to her as fast as your legs could carry them. Even Mimi, Mimi's egg baskets were painted with big red characters that read happy hens, and she tried to make it so. But every night when it was time to roost in the hen house, the hens picked on Daisy. They fluffed up their feathers and crowed her off the perch. They jostled her until pick one or the others pushed her and thump, she fell off. Then the hens tucked their heads into their feathers and went to sleep while poor little Daisy was stuck below the damp mud floor shivering and cold until morning and Mimi's sleeping so she doesn't know she's cold on the damp floor one day it rained all day and then the hen stayed inside. And the hen stayed inside. When it got dark, they flew up in to their perch. Except for Daisy. She had enough of pushy hens and cold, damp floors. She went outside to find a place to spend the night. Down the river bank, she spied one of the market baskets she snuggled in and fluffed up her feathers to stay warm. See, she's bleeding. And here's her belly. Daisy was sleeping and didn't see the river creeping up the bank from all the rain. And when the water reached her happy hen's basket, she did not feel it float out into the river. But when the basket started tipping and bobbing, Daisy woke up. She peeked out and saw a watery world around her. She, the sandy yard and the garden wall and Mimi's farmhouse looked smaller and smaller as the current carried her. Look, can you see? Look, doesn't it look like a lion? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, the basket bumped against the stone gently where a, ho a houseboat was tied up. Scratch, scratch, scraped the basket as the river waves pushed it against the sharp rocks. And the lion. I think you're done, right? Mm -hmm. But when the basket started... You read this already. A dog was sitting up on the deck uh, uh, uh. of the houseboat when, when he saw the plump pen bobbing in the basket. He barked and scrambled uh, toward her. It 
was enough to tip the basket off the rocks and she floated away just in time. Mimi is here and look, can you see the dragon? It's a perfect one. Down broke over the Gull Mountains as the basket drifted along the river. Branches brushed against it. Fish swam silently, silently by. The birds flew overhead. Suddenly, Daisy felt a thump. It's the water buffalo. Daisy looked up and saw two big horns and a pair of surprised eyes looking down at her. The basket had drifted into the legs of a great big water buffalo taking a morning drink. This buffalo snorted loudly, scaring Daisy. She flew forward and tipped his furry muzzle and flapped and flapped her wings. Daisy scared the water buffalo, he turned and galloped, the, galloped up the bank, scattering the ducks as he ran. His splashes made waves that carried the basket back into the middle of the river. Daisy traveled along all day until the ba her basket was hooked on by the roots of a tree where a troop of red-tailed monkeys lived. They curiously, the curious monkeys eyed. eyed Daisy and climbed down for a closer look. Daisy froze as one monkey crept down to the basket and reached it. Daisy flapped and pecked, nibbled and squawked. The startled the monkey pushed the basket away and it broke loose from the tree and floated down the river. Daisy wondered wondered what would happen next. Look, can you see? It's like an animal with horns. The look. It's so cute, it's like in here. It's Bobby and here's the horn. Up ahead, Daisy saw the fisherman with corns diving all around his bam bam bamboo boat. They were catching fish and taking them into him for a reward. The, f the fisherman felt a soft bump behind him thinking it was a corner reached he reached back and grabbed how surprising he was to see that he was holding a head instead of a corner loads of corn they dive into the water and help the fishermen. So they dive in, they tie their necks, and then when they dive into the water, the little fish go and they can eat them, and the other, the big fish stay for them. See? Yeah. All the fish. Can't you see a, hap a happy hen? Here on the that rock. Means the happy hen's market and monkey. There. Finders keepers, he exclaimed. Little fish, big fish, silver fish, white fish. That's what I sell at the market. But today I will have this tender young chicken. He put a net over the basket and headed to the, to the shore with poor Daisy inside. At home, Mimi had looked all day and all night for her little Daisy. She wasn't in the harm hen house. She wasn't behind the farm house. She couldn't fly over the wall to 
Where is she? Mimi wondered, worried all the time about what had happened to Daisy. Finally, she knew that she had to go to the f market. She packed her eggs in the basket and started to go on her way. As the basket swung back and forth, the red characters on the sides of her baskets made Mimi feel sadder and sadder. Happy hands, she said aloud to herself. What about my Daisy? Where can she be? Her happy hands characters. I don't know how they look like characters. And look. This is the happy hands. And this is this. I don't know what it is. Done. As the market at the market, Mimi found a place and arranged the eggs in clean, sweet smelling straw. All morning shoppers brought fresh brown eggs, but she couldn't stop thinking about her little lost hen. Mimi had heard a voice calling to her. It was her friend, Zagya, yelling from the back of the bike ca cart. A fisherman has the, a happy hand basket, he shouted. Do you think that guy is <coughs> saying it? Inside and screaming out to her. Look, here's little Daisy in the tent, and down here is him, the fisherman. Mimi raced to where the fisherman fish were sold. There was Daisy, beautiful and plump, in her basket, surrounded by a crowd all wanting to buy her. That's my hen! That's my hen! She cried to the fisherman, but the, his face was like stone. She pointed at the red characters on the baskets. Happy hands, she said. The fisherman crossed his arms. Finally, finders keepers, he growled and turned away to see Elle Daisy. Mimi was about to leave, but, but her eyes rested on those characters. Happy hands. She could think about was Daisy in, the co in a cooking pot. She squeezed her eyes and shut, 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 and clenched her Fish. fists. She had to do something. Are all the hands? And here's. Oh, the mean fisherman, can't you see Daisy? Go, 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 go. She called at the top of her voice, and when Daisy heard that call, she answered it the way she had. Every day of her life, she rose up and threw, do, threw, threw herself, herself against the basket. Tipping over, she ran towards her frightened, me frightened 
Mimi as fast as her legs could go. Daisy flew onto Mimi's shoulder and off they went running back to get Mimi's baskets and go home. The fisherman ran after them furious. Stop, he yelled at Mimi. That's my hen. Finders keepers, Mimi called over her shoulder. And with Daisy clinging onto her, she ran and didn't stop until they were safely home. Here's Mimi running out to see the basket slide. Tipped over and off. Oh, and can't you see the pig and the dog? Pig and dog, pig here, dog there. That night, as the sun went down, Daisy took a place on the roost when one of the big hens fluffed up their wings and spread spread up their wings and spread out, expanding Daisy to fall off the perch. Like always, Daisy flapped her wings. I learned that from the boat dog, she chuckled. Another hen tried to tip her off. She pushed right back. I scared a water buffalo like that, she squawked. Another hen jostled her. Peck, 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 peck. Daisy kept her place on the perch and be beat the air with her wings. She reminded the, remembered the monkey as she pecked and flapped all over again. That was when the hen gave Daisy a place of her own. Some happy hens in egg. Some eggs and some more eggs. Some eggs. Mm. The lap, lap, lap of the river made a peaceful nighttime song. No bumping, no jostling, no fussing around. Just six happy hens. Hens. Their heads tucked in, their feathers high and warm and safe together. See? And...